Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new video on the Jews and Gems YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we'll be talking about uh, crystals that I would recommend the most or that I would personally use the most for all things creativity, inspiration and everything in between. So to get started, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'll give you a bit of an intro as to why those crystals would make sense for creativity and inspiration. And after that, I'm going to show you some examples just to give you a bit of an idea as to uh, which ones do I personally like. And uh, I'll give you a bit of a, an idea as to why that crystal specifically fits in into that category. This is a topic that's been uh, suggested, requested, mentioned a lot. So hopefully you guys, you'll get a lot of ideas, information, and um, you'll enjoy this video. So first of all, it's important to mention that creativity and inspiration are, are both very much so linked to both the sacral and the throat chakras in the chakra system. And when these two um, chakras are in balance, that will usually show up in a really beautifully balanced sense of creativity and inspiration. And uh, without going too deep into, into the topic, uh, sac the sacral chakra is uh, just below the belly button. That one is creativity in general. It's all things, emotions, sensuality, passion, pleasure, all those things. And on the other side, we have the throat chakra, which is obviously going to be located, um, you know, in the area of the, of the mouth, throat and nasal. And here we've got everything related to communication, self-expression, and you can see how that also can affect um, creativity and inspiration. So definitely combining those two together would make a lot of sense. That's why some of those crystals I'm going to talk about now can work for these specific chakras, but combining them together can really also work very well. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you now some of my favorites. So let's get started. Let's talk about first citrine because citrine is very, very popular for this. Citrine is not just a magnet for uh, manifestation, um, imagination, creativity, but also personal will. It's literally all about radiating sunshine energy. And what I love about it the most is that citrine is all about joy, happiness. It's about being happy to be here and to live your life to the fullest. And really that sense of um, finding your power and using your abilities to unlock your soul potential and, uh, and do your absolute best. Then we've got um, another option that would be also great, slightly different. It's going to be carnelian, which is this one here. I love carnelian as well. It's very much so for the sacral chakra. Uh, it's all going to be about confidence, empowerment and passion. And that's what you need if you really want to tap into your creativity and your inspiration. Because if you're not confident about yourself, then your inspiration gets blocked, you know, it won't flow. And what's really great about it, it's also associated with vitality, motivation, personal will, and, uh, and courage, and really all about promoting positive life changes and, uh, and motivation to succeed and, and uh, do your best and be good at what you're doing. So great crystal for uh, anything associated with uh, uh, leadership, courage, inner strength, resilience, endurance, all those things. And then uh, another option would be tiger's eye. Tiger's eye here works great as well because it's all about embodying the energy of the tiger. So very much so about not just good luck and protection, but confidence, inner power, and uh, really tapping into that manifesting energy that, you know, mental focus and uh, really allowing you to be very objective and clear about everything because to tap into that creativity you need to be very clear-minded and uh, that will allow you to really tap into those uh, deepest inner goals desires um, wishes everything that fuels you with uh, with that sense of passion because inspiration creativity is also driven 
by passion so it makes absolute sense and it's also very good for grounding so a great option here for you uh, then if we go for something a bit different we also have pyrite pyrite is great for for that type of, of work because it's very much so that sense of you know confidence and willpower but more so more so than that is going to be associated with uh, really manifesting and taking action and uh, sometimes that's what you want as well uh, to unleash your creativity you need to take action it's not just about coming up with ideas it's about making them happen so definitely another great crystal i like to recommend because it's all about you know that uh, prosperity abundance energy you know it is nicknamed fool's gold so you can see it, it carries a good luck energy uh, very much so associated with manifestation so um, you know if you are doing a job that requires being creative if it requires using tapping into your intuition your inspiration definitely a pirate is a great great crystal for you and uh, it also taps into that the divine masculine energy and on the other side you have intuition and, and creativity that sometimes can be more considered feminine energies so combining the two really can be very powerful and then we can start to move towards the upper chakra so here we have amazonite which is a great option because it's all about empowering but it's also about self-awareness self-discovery and that's how you can also tap into that inner sense of uh, creativity it's very much so by discovering yourself being self-aware uh, being aware of your strength your weaknesses understanding your yourself in a beautiful way and embrace your own truth and uh, you know be authentic to yourself that's literally what amazonite is all about and really again um, similar to what we just said amazonite and em really embodies that sense of balance between masculine and feminine energies which is something that can really work well here um, because uh, obviously you're, you're going to be able to work on both sides of um, what it is to be creative and to uh, channel that creative energy then we've got sodalite so yeah very much so a throat chakra crystal here so very much so about insight uh, communication self-expression focus uh, you know rational thinking objectivity and um, you know being able to express yourself in the best way possible in the clearest way possible without being held back by any uh, negative emotions or energy such as fear fear of judgment uh, stress anger any of those so very much so an emotional balance combined with that sense of um, you know being able to express yourself in a smooth gentle and beautiful way so uh, you can see how that makes sense for creativity in general and last but not least we have the one and only the beautiful probably my one of my favorites maybe my favorite among them all here and that is the beautiful kyanite i love kyanite for me it's it's one of those um I think more people need to get their hands on kyanite it's very much so one of a few minerals which is something something i find quite fascinating that actually neither accumulates or nor retains negative energy so that means it does not need to be cleansed uh, it does not because it does not retain it does not accumulate negative energy um, blue kyanite is considered a very high vibrational gemstone uh, that's helping you to really speak your inner truth trust yourself uh, it's great for anyone that's doing a job that really involves being creative but also expressing yourself in some ways uh, so be it by speaking for example or by you know visually or whichever way it is um, but what's also great about kind is like it's all about encouraging you um, inviting you to really express your own truth uh, and uh, your highest self and cutting through any types of fears and blockages that might stop you from that and at the same time it's going to 
really boost the sense of compassion and forgiveness for yourself which is what you need in order to evolve and um, you know really shift any negative patterns or any feelings of being stuck or any type of inner or outer conflicts uh, that might stop you from that process and uh, it's also great because obviously it's going to be very calming it's a very calming crystal in general it's very much associated with tranquility and and attunement uh, which makes it great for example for um, meditation for example or any type of work similar and uh, because it's going to really connect with that with that psychic uh, self and uh, these abilities and really communications on all levels so to really go to a step further in um, all things inspiration creativity definitely kyanite is a great choice and uh, it really taps into those upper chakras you know so yeah that would be my favorite crystals that i would recommend uh the most if i was to give one last option guys really really quick uh i don't have it here with me but as a little a bonus it would be aragonite if you have it as well that's great uh aragonite is very much so about uh that slightly more uh, grounding energy it's like boosting your energy your sense of self-confidence and self-worth uh you know as you learn to place trust in yourself this is going to be a wonderful way to really stimulate that sense of um, you know inner strength and uh, everything related to creativity and releasing those um, those beautiful uh, creative juices out there but also at the same time being by being grounded and and stable and and full of life and full of energy so yeah that would be my main choices now of course guys these are just some of my personal favorites and crystals that i happen to recommend the most uh there is a lot more out there that maybe you feel might suit you best uh yeah let me know in the comment section below guys which one of those is your personal favorite and if i have not mentioned it please let me know which one or ones do you like to use for all things creativity and inspiration and i would love to hear from you uh, make sure you also give this video a big thumbs up uh, it would be great it shows me that you're enjoying this content and gives me an idea of what to do next and i will be uh, talking to you soon if you're looking for any of those beautiful stones you can also go on the website to find more uh, information about them there's so much more this is just a quick little uh, overview and uh, you'll be able to see our range as well of uh, gemstone jewelry and crystals so that's jewelsandgems.shop you'll find that in the description box thank you so much guys for watching and i will be talking to you soon